हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ऑलम्पेडल जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव एक्स ओवर टू टू दी पावर ऑफ सिक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री टू दी पावर ऑफ सिक्स एंड हियर वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स सो बिकॉज हियर फर्स्ट वी नीड टू यूज द दिस एक्सपोनेंट ला यू नो दैट इफ वी हैव ए ओवर बी टू दी पावर ऑफ एम वी राइट इट एज ए टू दी पावर ऑफ एम डिवाइडेड बाई बी टू दी पावर ऑफ एम so according to uh, this exponent law we will write this term as x to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6 and it is equals to 3 to the power of 6 so further uh, in the next step here we need to move this 2 to the power of 6 to the right hand side and it will be written as x to the power of 6 equals to 3 to the power of 6 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 Here we need another exponent law. You know that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m, we write it as a multiplied by b to the power of m. So according to this exponent law, we will write this term as x to the power of six equals to. We need to combine the exponent of these two terms, and it will becomes three times of two to the power of six. So further, uh, we have this is three to the six, and we have a six to the power of six, and here you have x to the power of six, and now we need to move the six to the power of six in the left hand side, and it will becomes x to the power of six minus six to the power of six equals to zero. Okay, so further, uh, we need to simplify the terms, and here we rewrite this term as x cubed and its whole square minus. We write this term as six cubed and its whole square equals to zero. And here we need to use this algebraic formula. If you have a square minus b square, it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this nice formula, we will write over above. Uh, equation as x cubed minus six cubed into x cubed plus six cubed equals to zero. So further in the next step, we need to break this equation, uh, and now we write this into the two cases so that our first case is to write x cubed minus six cubed equals to zero, and the second case is we write x cubed plus six cubed equals to zero. So here we call this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two. So now in order to find the values of x, we need to solve these two equations. So that here first we write our equation number one. So we solve equation number one here. Equation number one is copy down here. X cubed minus six cubed equals to zero. And here we use this cubic formula. If you have a a cubed minus b cubed, it is equals to A minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So according to this nice formula, uh, we will write uh, this equation as uh, here. We need to put these two values here, so it will be written as x minus six times of uh, this is x square plus six x plus six square equals to zero. Now we divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take x minus six equals to zero and the second case is we take x square plus six x plus thirty six equals to zero. So here we get the value of x is equals to six. Now we need to solve this quadratic equation. So here we write the coefficient of this equation and we will use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So the coefficients are a equals to one, b equals to six, and c equals to thirty-six. And quadratic formula is stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four times of a c divided by two times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula. And now we need to substitute these two uh, these coefficients here, and it will be written as x equals to minus b. The value of b is six. It will be written as minus six plus minus b square. B means six square minus four times of a c. So four times of a is one, and c is thirty six. So four times of thirty six becomes here one hundred and forty four. And it is divided by two. So here we write it as minus six 
plus minus uh, square of 36 becomes square of 6 becomes 36 minus 144 and it is divided by 2 so here we have a minus 6 plus minus 36 minus 44 equals to minus 108 and it is divided by 2 so again we have x equals to minus 6 plus minus we write uh, this 108 as 36 times of 3 and we write the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so here we get our x equals to minus 6 plus minus we know that the square root of 36 becomes 6 into square root of 3 and minus 1 square root equals to iota and we break this fraction and we write these two terms separately here so we get our x equals to minus 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 into iota. These are the two complex roots of the given equation which we get from equation number 1. And now here we need to solve our equation number 2 so that we will copy down equation number 2 here. So equation number 2 is that x cubed plus 6 cubed equals to 0 and here we use the second cubic formula and we write it as a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and this whole equals to zero and now here again we divide this into the two cases so first we write x plus 6 equals to zero and x square minus 6 x plus 36 equals to zero and here we get the value of x equals to minus 6 so here we write the we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 36 and we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here we can substitute the values of a b and c and we need more simplification so uh, the value of b is minus 6 minus times of minus becomes plus 6 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 6 and minus 6 square becomes 36 so 4 times of a is 1 c is 36 it is equals to 144 it is divided by 2 i hope so you have some expertise in order, uh, order to solve the quadratic formula okay so that here i can do just uh, a simplification directly uh, or more direct form so we have this is 6 plus minus 36 minus 144 equals to minus 108 divided by 2 so we again write this minus 108 as uh, it will be written as 36 times of 3 and we can separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so here we have x is equals to 6 plus minus the square root of 36 becomes 6 into square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 becomes iota here we break this fraction and we divide these two terms by 2 so we get here our x is equals to 3 this is 2 3 is a 6 and again 2 3 is a 6 we have 3 plus minus 3 times of a square root of 3 iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so uh, this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos